In February 2022, self-proclaimed VTuber historian Depressed Nusagi rose to become a respected member and commentator of the VTuber community. And yet in less than a year, it would all come crashing down after Depressed Nusagi was accused of doxing Hololive VTubers. Unfortunately, inside of his Patreon, Depressed Nusagi has been quote doxing and posting sensitive information about the talents inside of Hololive. However, it was revealed that the doxing videos had been made into exclusive membership videos on the YouTube channel. Today, we're going over the rise and fall of Depressed Nusagi. In order to fully understand the history behind Nusagi's channel, first we need to delve back into the year 2019. It was around this time that Japanese technology company Covercorp was starting to make waves in the West with a group of VTuber streamers called Hololive. A VTuber is simply an entertainer who uses an animated avatar as a cover instead of their face, and many of them are highly talented individuals marketed as virtual idols, and anime fans from across the globe were flocking to them so that they could finally find waifus that talked back to them. There were several key moments that led to the rise of Hololive, but out of the many viral moments that emerged from this era, one is relevant to the beginnings of depressed Nusagi. Fucking with nigga. Never. Sometime in 2019, Hololive member Sakura Miku said the N-word while streaming GTA 5. This clip went viral, and while any English speaker would have faced heavy backlash, Miku's status as a non-English speaker meant that she faced very little, as it was understood that she didn't know what the word meant. However, over a year later, it would be this moment that the press Nusagi would take advantage of to grow his own channel. Depressed Nusagi created his channel on October 8th, 2018, with the earliest videos I have been able to locate being JoJo memes posted in spring of 2019. However, it wasn't until the fall of 2021, two years later, that Nusagi started posting the videos that would push him into the spotlight. On October 31st, 2021, Depressed Nusagi posted a video explaining how the N-word managed to catapult Sakura Miko into stardom. It's a short video jammed packed with hololive based jokes and skits. But beneath the humor is a legitimate analysis of Sakura Miko's past and how she became as popular as she is. It wasn't until February 2022 that Depressed Nusagi's channel truly took off. While Nusagi's channel was already picking up a bit of steam around the beginning of the month, two incidents happened which allowed Nusagi to grow his channel further. The first incident was the drama surrounding Hololive member Uruha Rushia and Japanese singer Mafu Mafu. While the drama itself is largely irrelevant, Nusagi was able to report on the drama, creating two videos, one on February 11th and a second on February 24th. The second event Nusagi was able to cover was the events leading up to the graduation of one of the most popular Hololive talents, Kiryu Koko. After accidentally saying the word Taiwan on stream, Kiryu Koko was harassed by Chinese nationals, eventually leading up to the graduation announcement of Koko from Hololive. Depressed Nusagi decided it would be him who would document the incident and explain it to the masses. So after writing a script of roughly 18,000 words, he created a one hour video explaining everything that happened leading up to the announcement of Kiryu Koko's retirement and posted it on February 17th, 2022. These three videos ended up catapulting Depressed Nusagi from 500 subscribers at the beginning of February to more than 10,000 at the end of the month. On the surface, the Depressed Nusagi channel seemed as if nothing bad could ever happen to it. However, as he continued to post regular videos, on March 25th, Depressed Nusagi announced that he was opening a Patreon so that people who wanted to support him could. The quality of my videos won't change for regular viewers, but those who join my memberships or my Patreon will have bonuses and perks. For example, those that join will have access to extra juicy details and information that I normally cut out from my videos. Do you all want to know what Aloe is doing right now? Do you want deeper insight on a Matsuka Uto situation? And to answer your question, no, I'm not going to be doxing any of the VTubers that I'll be making videos of. I'm just going to give an overview of their past content and their actions that led up to where they are now, but not necessarily go into personal information that will bring me or bring them trouble. One of the perks offered was to make Patreon exclusive videos that would go further into depth on certain events or topics. While this seems normal, eventually these videos would bring down the wrath of Twitter upon Nusagi. But for the time being, Depressed Nusagi received nothing but support from his audience, and Nusagi went on to continue making content while occasionally producing Patreon-exclusive content in the background. It's at this point that I have to redact and censor certain bits of information because the discussion involves the past lives of two Hololive VTubers. 
On June 19th, the Press Nusagi uploaded a Patreon exclusive on Takanashi Kiara, going well in depth about her life before joining Hololive. In the description of the video, he provided numerous links to various sources, from news websites to forums, and gave the video a thumbnail that shows both Kiara's avatar and her face. On August 8th, Nusagi posted a second Patreon exclusive video detailing the past history of Amelia Watson. Unlike his previous video on Kiara, Nusagi may not have provided links as sources for this video, as I've been unable to locate any, but he did show Amelia's face as he did previously with Kiara. I was able to locate one re-upload of this video. The information shared was Ame's true face, her past identity, and an overview of the events which led Ame to become a VTuber and the, all of the information used was either posted by Amelia before she was Amelia or by YouTube stats aggregation sites. No addresses, real names, or email addresses were shared in this video. Before you watch this video, I would like to first say that I will not be saying Amelia Watson's real name or her age and, you know, other personal information like that. I'd also like to say that um, the information in this video may be incomplete. Amelia Watson didn't really give too many details about herself, but enough were archived about her to find out what kind of person she was, including some other really sensitive and personal information. She wasn't particularly famous either. I have also located evidence of a few other videos discussing the backgrounds of VTubers Gargura and Vox Akuma. These are regular videos created for his YouTube channel with additional information added for Patreon only. All other Patreon specific videos seem to have a bit of extra information related to certain drama, but nothing of importance to the story today. On November 13th, accusations began to leak onto Twitter that depressed Nusagi was doxing Hololive members, with these Patreon videos being the problem. Nusagi was accused of sharing addresses and other bits of personal information. These accusations of sharing addresses have not been substantiated. I can verify that no addresses or names were shared in the Amelia Watson video. Eventually, the news was picked up by numerous VTuber news channels and accusations spread like wildfire. VTuber news channels such as False ID, Kyo, and Flamenco TV reported on the controversy. Public opinion divided itself into two camps. One side felt that the videos were fine as no personally identifying information was shared and that Nusagi only used public information. The other side argued that even public information was too much. Over the next few days, depressed Nusagi lost roughly 4,000 of his 76,000 subscribers, falling to 72.1 thousand. It was around this time that depressed Nusagi also privated his Patreon account. He was also kicked from a couple of fan discords around this period of time as well. Nusagi made his video addressing the controversy on November 15th. I wanted to discuss VTubers and their stories in a greater context than just their current personas. To avoid this content appearing publicly for anyone to stumble across it unwillingly, I put it on my Patreon. A lot of people have also spread misinformation surrounding those videos too, saying that I put in their addresses, numbers, or whatever sensitive and dangerous information that the talents had, but those are all untrue. The things that I put in those videos have no actionable content whatsoever. But I've come to a decision to leave the rabbit hole. I've given it a few days of thought and it seems to make sense to me. On November 20th, Nusagi announced one more stream of his own, and so he scheduled a goodbye stream for November 23rd. Depressed Nusagi went on to explain the reasons why he planned to leave the VTuber rabbit hole. So, with all the drama that happened, my health and my doctor literally telling me to stop, my enjoyment of VTubers listening, the burnout, my social life tanking because I've done nothing but make videos for the past 9 months and not socializing, and me going to uni, like, Two months, uh, two months from now anyway, with all of these dropping down on me at this very moment, why not just stop here, you know? So that is the end of the drama with depressed Nusagi. As he said, he'll probably make a couple more videos and then he will leave YouTube. And if he does come back, he may very well make a new channel. Now, if Depressed Nusagi had wanted to stay, he probably could. What he did falls very squarely into a gray area. And that's why deciding whether or not he did anything wrong is actually kind of difficult. There's a couple of different perspectives that can be taken. If you're a VTuber fan and you understand the culture around VTubing and, you, and the past life taboo, then you might be against Nusagi and his videos. However, there's another perspective that can be made that these videos are important for historical records or for truthfully telling the past tale of individuals without any lies or whatnot. 
And in that perspective, then what he did was very good. No one ever knows what the future has in store, but one thing's for certain. If Depressed Usagi does come back, it will definitely be controversial. <laughs>